This is Pokemon Emerald Rogue, the procedurally generated game where all Pokemon and routes are randomized. And you face a gym leader after every single route that gets harder and harder as you progress through the game. In attempt number two, we start with a Nidoran female and we name her Kimmy. And this time we are smart. Instead of taking on a trainer immediately, we go catch some Pokemon. So we add Chompy the Mawile to the team. And we add Mighty Dini, our first Dini cult Pokemon of this run. Sneezy the Sneasel jumps on board. Continuing forward, we find Wangs, the Torchic, a lucky find. And rounding out the team, we find Darius the Rhyhorn. We face Juan, the Water Trainer, in the first gym. Mighty Dini finishes off the first Clam Pearl. Sneezy drops a Wooper, and Kimmy rounds off an easy gym. On to Route 2. I like our team quite a bit, so I don't get any new Pokemon. It's a good time to just collect items and try to build my money pool. Wangs evolved to get some bigger Wangs. In gym number two, we take on Liza, the Psychic Trainer. And Sneezy's making a case for early game MVP. Dropping not one, not two, but three Pokemon. And then we take a risk with Wangs, but Wangs still finishes the gym off two down. And they were both quite easy, but things get harder. Mighty Dini evolves, making him a little more useful, and so does Kimmy, so we have a Nidorina too. Couldn't find any good new Pokemon to replace members of my team, so I went over here to check out this game show that I've never done before. I gamble and take the right ball, and all my Pokemon get a little bit stronger, which is awesome. I go left in round two, and Darius gets a little bit stronger, and then we go right and we get 10 grand. Man, this game show's awesome. And then we go left and we get a perfect four for four, winning a special item. But Gym 3 is a doozy. We go up against Watson, the electric trainer, and I make the world's biggest mistake, thinking that my Sneezy is invincible, when in fact that couldn't be more further from the truth. We lose our MVP. At least Wangs is able to clean up the mess. But what I thought was a clear type advantage is clearly not, as this Ampharos has a fighting move somehow, ending Darius's life. And things only get worse as we lose our starter, Kimmy, to a powerful Thunderbolt. Wangs has to come in and save the day again, quickly becoming the savior of the run. But we have to sack her to make sure we get the victory. A devastating decision, to say the least. This allows Chompy to live and finish off the gym. So we have to reload on Route 4, and if you look closely, we have a legendary awaiting us. But first we have to add a Kabuto to the team, as well as a little baby Shuppet, which we named The Guy, and The Guy evolves almost immediately. But most importantly, we find a mother freaking Gyarados. But we're mostly focused on this legendary. Maybe too focused, as we weren't prepared for this trainer. As Chad, our new Kabuto, gets obliterated from the face of this earth. But we rally and prepare to find out what awaits us. The majestic beauty of an Entei. Mighty Dini gets caught in a fire spin, so we have to sack it to achieve our dreams of getting this Entei. And with our final Great Ball, we're able to add the Mighty Beast to the team. But unfortunately now we're a little short-handed for this gym, where we face Norman, the normal gym trainer, whose Stantler is annoying as all hell. But Draco still gets the job done. But since it's a 4v5, I'm not switching out. And this Porygon 2 is lucky enough to have Discharge. It was nice to know you, Draco. It's time to bring out the big guns. And the big guns are flaming. And Chompy has to get in on the action too. The finale is a Ditto, who becomes our Chompy. We only have one healthy Pokemon left. The guy nearly gets devastated with one HP left. We have to trust that Fuego can take one hit. And the only reason we are victorious is because Ditto ran out of moves. We have to rebuild a little bit, but luckily the next route is chock full of good Pokemon. We catch ourselves an Aerodactyl, we add an Altaria, we run into a bit of a pickle because we have no healing items, but we make do. And finally we add a Crobat. In Gym 5 we face Roxanne, the Rock Trainer. Chompy defeats a Sudowoodo in a battle that was a lot more hotly contested than it should have been, and this Mag Cargo keeps on burning me, and this gym's turning out to be a nightmare, as we have to sack the guy to continue battling. But we finish off the Aggron. Night Nightwing sadly gets finished off by the Sandstorm, and Jet also takes a big fat L. But luckily Fergie's holding its own in battle. But the back and forth action continues as we have to sack Chompy to continue forward. We only have two Pokemon left. And things are not looking good as we even lose our Entei. And this overpowered Omastar drops the final bomb, and run number two ends with a whimper. A very very sad day in the fifth gym.